Hi guys, this is Fofum here. I'm going to show you how to use the prefabs and the load sub-object tag because I know they can be a little frustrating if you don't know how to use them or if you're just new to uh, from the depths. So, we'll start the prefabs tab. Prefabs is um, a little complex to get it completely right, but it is simple in the uh, general idea of what you want to do. So what you do is click on one of these gray squares. <coughs> you want to name it, so in this case I named it random block. And then uh, you set the width, height, and length to the block that you want to copy. So now I have this one selected. Just click on it again and now you see here this is where it's going to copy. Anything that is touching this teal frame and inside of it, not the green arrow on top, will be copied. So what we'll do is we'll head down here. Just turn right there. Boom. We've copied that. Now it already is going to work. Watch. You just click and it's placed immediately. Everything that you have in there within this block will uh, be saved and then it can just be pasted just like it was now if you mess up you don't want it you just click on the white prefab uh, it frees up the slot it'll keep the name but it frees it up and then you can edit it the height the width and the length to whatever you need to make it so now we have that selected in this case this would come out the same thing but you see now you can just expand it however you want and that's how you use the prefab slot alright now we're on to the uh, load sub object or save sub object so let me see here what you're gonna want to do is select on one of your turrets and then you just go to quite simply save sub object you click on where you want to save it it's gonna be on one of these empty slots and then you name it whatever you want to name it alright and after you do that you save it and you're good you unclick or you go out of the build mode so you're no longer building on the turret and you click back on your craft back in the build mode for your craft go to load sub object click on what you want to load and place it and it's that simple you now have a uh, turret that you've saved and now you can just freely place it wherever you want to as long as it's gonna fit it'll work if you try to place it like this it's not gonna work alright there's also one more thing to note about the prefabs tab you cannot save a turret it won't work so if I try to save this under the prefabs tab if I went over here pick this random block wipe this and try to select this one it won't place it will not place anywhere and the reason it for that is because they want you to use the constructibles now say if you made a simple turret as in you made a firing piece and a few cannon pieces on the side you know I'll just give you a little example here so we get the firing piece and we just place it on the side and add a barrel barrel you go to prefabs wipe this let's just make it cover that this will work this will copy this will paste so you can place these infinitely and it will work just fine but you cannot use the prefabs to select the uh, turret. It just won't place. Um, I don't think that's a bug. I think that's how uh, Nick, the developer, intended it to be. I mean, it does simplify. It makes it easier so you no longer get confused between the two. So remember the load sub-object and save sub-object is for everything and anything that is on a turret and also on a spin turn block. The prefabs are just for blocks on the boat, nothing to do with the turret. You can add uh, cannons onto the side and it'll copy that, or just huge blocks of any portion of the boat. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and subscribe to find out more. I'll be making more continuously all the time. Alright, thank you again. See ya guys.